This is V from a Canadian RVer. A beautiful fall morning with the colors changing and we're leaving our home base right now. We're going back to Tire Time in Leamington, Ontario to see Henry because what we're supposed to do after they, they put the new tires on and uh, the rubber on the rims, uh, the rims were put back on and I'll put out a link to my other video that we did. And we've now driven approximately 100 kilometers or about 60 miles on them. And now it's time to go down and retorque them all, and make sure that it's nice and tight. So come on along for a ride, and we're going back to tire time. So here we are, we're pulled in and again, we're taking off uh, the covers. And as we talked about in the other video, there are three bolts that are holding the uh, cover on and all the other ones are dummies. And you can see that we're just taking everything off right now to uh, restart the torquing process. So we're gonna do the, uh, we just did the front one. We're gonna go back over here to the uh, dually and it's the same process. Um, three bolts take off uh, the covers, but right there what we have to do is uh, take off our tire pressure monitoring system and that's what I'm doing right there. And there's my Toyo tires. So I've just removed the, uh, uh, the tire pressure monitoring on the inside dually and right now we have to remove the two little lock nuts that are holding on the uh, valve extenders. And we're gonna do that really quick. Uh, as soon as the uh, tech has um, uh, got that part of the bolt off, I'll come around to this side and uh, we'll keep watching. And uh, you can see my key now, the key that was uh, given to me by Ford when we bought the RV to take off these big bolts. And now that they're not seized on anymore, you'll see just how smooth they're supposed to come off. That's it. I mean, it's just as simple as that. A few turns with the key, you pick the three bolts that are the ones that are holding on the frame of the hubcap and um, the rest um, will come off really easy. So we'll just keep watching for a minute and uh, you'll see how we take them off really super simple now because they're not seized on anymore uh, since we had everything off. Uh, we put things back, uh, well, you know, not as tight, not as um, uh, with any kind of uh, adhesive on it or any kind of a thread lock on it. So they would be easy to take off. So there you go, it comes off just that easy. So again, as I come around to this side, one of our other techs, uh, he was already going around and um, torquing all the bolts. And uh, when we caught up with him, he was already on the back dualies. And uh, you can see where they're just going from bolt to bolt. And uh, once the handle breaks, it's at the right torque. So let's just keep watching for a minute. So we're now just finishing up on our back dually and now the last tire in the front we're just coming around here 
and uh, we're just going to tighten up uh, the last uh, few bolts here and everything looks good. I did notice this one it was actually torquing down a little bit though it was a little bit loose. So here we go, putting everything all back together. We're now tightening on the valve extender from the inside dually. And once we have that on, we can put the tire pressure monitoring back on and we're done. So this is V from a Canadian RVer. We hope you've enjoyed the series of videos and uh, can help out uh, maybe when you're looking for new tires too. So thanks to Henry at uh, Tire Time in Leamington, Ontario. This is V from a Canadian RVer. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.